The Supreme Court ruled on Jackie Kwesin's eligibility to serve as a member of parliament in May. The decision led to the nullification of the 2020 Asin North parliamentary election results. At a forum organized by Solidair Ghana, Justice Atuguba deemed the decision to be incorrect. The James Chachi Kwesin's decision by the Supreme Court is with all due respect scandalous in that the court in the teeth of the settled maxim, res judicata et non quieta movere, re-adjudicated the same matter that has been adjudicated upon by the High Court on the merits. Never seen this type of thing in any judicial system. All that was left was its execution according to court processes. Again, the stress laid by the court on the statutory processes for acquisition and renunciation of citizenship shot itself in the foot. If the certificate of renunciation is so mandatory and conclusive, why was it not conclusive in its effect to qualify Jachi Kwesin when he received the date 26 November 2020, whereas the parliamentary election was held on 7 December 2020? He advocated for changes in the appointment process of judges in the country. If the appointment process is transparent and genuine, such like that good and competent legal materials get onto the bench, they have a reputation to, to protect, so they won't do certain things. But I appeal to um, the lawyers that they should have mercy for the country also. After making a lot of money over the years, now it should be time to come to the bench and serve the people. But not just money upon money upon money upon money. Justices of the Supreme Court hardly speak when they are still in office. But when they are out of office, they shed off that cloak and have that power to make known their views on matters. That is what has happened here where Justice Atuguba spoke in his mind on contemporary legal and judicial issues. Duke Mento Poku, TV3 News, University of Ghana, Legon.